First here at five. Well, watch out in Florida or don't come at all. That is the message being sent out tonight by the NAACP. The group issued a travel advisory for Florida over the weekend. It is in response to the controversial laws recently signed by the governor. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live in Tampa. Josh, you heard from the NAACP today. What's the latest? Well, Haley, the NAACP says the governor is making, quote, in their words, aggressive attempts to uh, erase black history and remove diversity from Florida. Now, the folks on the governor's side say this is all one big stunt. Tourism has long been the backbone of Florida's economy. Now the NAACP is trying to hit the state where it hurts, issuing a travel advisory in response to recent laws signed by Florida's Republican governor, Ron DeSantis. Quote, Florida is openly hostile toward African Americans, people of color, and LGBTQ plus individuals. Before traveling to Florida, please understand that the state of Florida devalues and marginalizes the contributions of and the challenges faced by African Americans and other communities of color, end quote. We can't ensure your rights. We can't ensure your safety. You're in the South now says Hillsborough County NAACP President Yvette Lewis. The group says the governor's decision to ban AP African American Studies courses and, quote, aggressive attempts to erase black history and restrict diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in Florida are reasons behind the advisory. The whole world is looking at this state. They're laughing at us. For his part, the governor has made it his rallying call fighting what he calls woke ideology in Florida. It is wrong to teach students that gender is a choice, and we don't allow that in Florida. When asked for a response to the advisory, a spokesperson for the governor kept it simple, saying, quote, as Governor DeSantis announced last week, Florida is seeing record-breaking tourism. This is nothing more than a stunt, end quote. And both Tampa Mayor Jane Castor and St. Pete Mayor Ken Welch responded to the NAACP travel advisory on Twitter. We're going to put up their responses on the screen, both basically saying their respective cities are warm and welcoming to all and that diversity is one of the major strengths here in Tampa Bay. Haley, back to you. Yeah, Josh, I know we uh, do closely monitor our traveler numbers for those big upcoming uh, travel holidays, so we'll have yep. to wait and see if any of this has any impact on that. Thank you, Josh.